That is quite the trek down. Oh my god. How you doing? I feel so good. It's Crow Fight Club. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Before heading to Phoenix, we took a mini weekend vacation to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We both have never been there before and only could imagine what it looks like from pictures and the movies. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? We didn't want to pass up on seeing one of the grand wonders of the world. Our minds were blown away by the beauty, and they could not compute the input of vastness and depth of 6,001 feet our eyes were taking in. Since we had limited time to visit, we didn't want to waste a minute. And we also didn't want Kane to miss out on seeing it either. We decided to hike the rim trail for a few miles. That way we could wrap our brains around the exposed geological history surrounding us. <laughs> I, don't, I thought you were taking a photo. <laughs> no, thank <I'm> you. <thinking>. My God. <laughs> the terrain just keeps going for what seems like infinity and beyond. After a good hike and tiring Kane out, we let him rest, and we decided to hit the pavement with our two wheels to cover as much ground as possible. It was the most scenic bike ride I have ever been on. Since we visited in December, the temperatures were perfect and the crowds were far less, making it feel like a way more personal journey with the earth. At the end of our bike ride, we found the starting of the Kaibab Trail that takes you all the way to the bottom. So we knew we had to try some of it. As a treat to the end of the day, we got to meet a chill bro on the way back to the van. This is the kind of relationship with horses I like. <laughs> a fence. Yeah. You understand yet you oh, you are but as dusty as can yeah maybe that's why you like me the exploration continued when we found dispersed camping nearby And I think Kane was in heaven being surrounded by the tall pine trees and also having nothing spiky laying around so he could finally run free. Wow, you made a dust trail. We made ourselves at home making a cozy fire and watching the sunset off in the distance. We also took time to reminisce about the red carved landscape we all got to explore. We saw the Grand Canyon for the first time today. Bryce, what did you think about it? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's so big and grand that it feels fake. Yeah, it's like a green screen. Like when you see stuff that's so large that it starts to get hazy all over. I mean, it's, it's pretty surreal, like it's Disney World stuff. It doesn't even make sense. No. It almost looks flat, it's so deep. Yeah, it's really hard to think about where you're standing on ledges and it's like, I don't know, a thousand feet down yeah. right there. Very incredible. The view is everywhere too. Everywhere you walk is just another amazing view. Grand view at the Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll stop torturing Bryce now <laughs> and I'll stop doing this well, interview. Well, right down the road, <laughs> we, <laughs> on National Forest Land, just totally for free easy. I mean, it was a yeah. 10 minute drive from the Grand Canyon, like main parking lot and it's beautiful out here. It's so cool. Let's see it go. Ooh, look how fun it is. Ooh. <laughs> hey, 
anyways. Yeah, that's torturous. Th that's the day, I guess, and we'll stop doing a camera talk. Okay, bye. Okay, shut it off. <laughs>The next day we set our minds to hike and started our switchback journey. We felt revitalized with seeing a new perspective of the six million year old canyon. This is the saddest part about the trail. Poor babies in the car waiting. We are going to attempt to walk as far as we can down to the bottom, which won't be that far. <laughs> this is cool. This is, it's like a perfect day for it too. No wind. Cool. Yeah, cool, it's like probably 45. I believe today is either December 4th or December 5th, so good time to take a hike in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> that is quite the trek down, oh my God. This is so cool. really don't want Kane on this hike. <laughs> Hiking diary. The climb down. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Easy part. <laughs> We even got to see mules on our trek. They proved their dedication to their job of walking up steep inclines with tight pathways. Good job, mules. We made our last stop at Cedar Ridge since we were not prepared to walk a 12 mile hike. Enjoying our mini Snickers for our excruciating hike down. Just kidding. <laughs> we do have an excruciating hike up by the looks of everyone's face. <laughs> yeah, everyone has their souls ripped out of their body on the walk up so far. Yay, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> the fallen rock kind of looks like grass, so it's tripping my brain up. I guess it is kind of like bushes. Yeah, they're little bushes. There's like little bushes on it. But it, it looks like... They're kind of little puby bushes. <laughs> puby bushes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. I don't even know where to go from that statement. <laughs> it just looks like you could just like walk down it, but it's just all very loose gravel. Oh my god, they're fighting it. <laughs> they're trying to beat up on that one. Poor little guy. Oh, there's some brown oh, 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 oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's Crow Fight Club. The one is talking smack. The one on the right, he's the tough guy. Maybe this is a, a mating thing. Oh, 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 no. Going after it. The takedown. Oh, they're just gonna fight all the way down the canyon. Oof, there's lots of pecking going on. Oof. After a snack and a show, we prepared our bodies for the treacherous ascent. Starting our uphill climb. My buns are on fire, but Bryce's calves are killing it. How much elevation do you think we're climbing? Between 1,500 and 2,000. Okay, I'm gonna say 1,200. Okay. I wish I had Bryce's legs right now. 
I trained on a stair mill at Anytime Fitness like three years ago for this moment. <laughs> so I'm ready. Great. <laughs> I don't have that training. I've been training watching Bryce climb the stair mill at Anytime Fitness. <laughs> the views have been a good distraction from the pain. Just crushing the world. While I stay back. Breathe in heavy like a fluffy kitty waiting for its meal mix to be delivered. Look at him go. And literally, it just takes such huge strides. There's no way I can keep up with him. I can not fit that many strides. Two feet. Actually, that might be a lot. That, that seems like a lot. I take that back. It's probably more like six inches. Let's see here. That's probably a good foot. Ooh, ah, uh, this one's for grandma. How you doing? Oh, it's just a dream. I feel so good. My butt feels like a model's butt. Already? Yeah. That's some quick gains. I'm a quick gainer. Yeah, I guess. I made him come back with me yeah. to work as a team. I was already like a mile up here. <laughs> he just wanted more work. Mm -hmm. I'd like to dedicate this time saying this could be a future Colin and Caroline hike. Yep. Hiking all the way to the bottom. Yeah, you guys would love that. Then we could camp and hike back up. Or you could do rim to rim. It's a four day hike. Okay, that's great. Let's keep stepping it up. <laughs> all right, I'll stop here. We're tired after a couple miles, so. <laughs> We are climbing up the switchback of doom. I'm not facing your calves yet. There you go. Here's this. Wow, actually, your calves look really nice. <laughs> Maybe she wears stilettos more often. Under, get chins more, under more, under more. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can't imagine doing the whole thing. Cheers. I think making it to the bottom or even rim to rim is now on our bucket list. Before the lactic acid could find our leg muscles, we headed back to see our most prized possession. Now that we are all reunited and can cross off the grandest of all canyons, we can head out to our next destination. Let us know if you have ever made it to the bottom or share what your experience at the Grand Canyon was like. Thanks for coming along on our journey and we can't wait to see you on the next one.